In this video, we are going to be learning a very important tool for beginners using Kali Linux and the tool that we are going to be learning today is Pimp My Kali. So what is this tool? Suppose you are a beginner and you are using Kali Linux, you might often download some software that might not be compatible with the system because of which your system might break. So with this tool, you can fix your system again. This is the easiest way to describe this tool, but the tool can do so much more. But if I have to describe the tool in one sentence, it would be that it can fix all the missing dependencies of your system and will give you a fresh start to your Kali Linux. Other than fixing the missing dependencies, it can do so much more like fixing Golang, fixing Grub, it can enable your root login, it can download so many softwares like Nessus, Sublime Text Editor and much more. So let's first install the tool and see how to use some of the features. So the first thing we're going to do is open Google and type pimp my Kali and press enter. Click on the first link by Dewalt Arch. When you're on this GitHub page, click on code under HTTPS, copy the link. Next, open your terminal and type the command git clone space, paste the link and press enter. If I do a ls, I can see the directory pimp my Kali in my system. So I'll change to this directory. So under the directory pimp my Kali, if I give ls, I can see there's a file called pimpmycali.sh. I have to run this file with sudo privileges. So type the command sudo space dot forward slash the name of the file, which is this one and press enter. As you can see, pimpmycali has started and we have many options, but the first option that is recommended to run is this one, new VM setup. If you're running pimpmycali for the first time, you have to use this option. So here I will type capital N and as you can see, the tool has started to fix my broken dependencies. Wait for the script to run. This might take a while. So I will fast forward this part of the video until I can press something. Now after the script ran for a while, I now have the option to select. If I want to re-enable the ability to log in as root in Kelly, I will select yes because I want the root user. It is asking us for a new password for the root user. I will give a password. I'll confirm the password again. Now it is asking us, do I want to copy everything from the home Farhan to the root? I will say no. After the script has finished running, you will see this banner icon, Pimp My Kali, with written all done happy hacking. Now the most important software for Kali Linux are automatically installed in my system and all the missing dependencies and errors also got resolved. One thing I noticed is my wallpaper also got changed. So I'm running the most stable version of Kali Linux right now. One other thing to mention, if you want to fix any of the dependencies for any particular tool or you want to install some software, then type sudo space dot forward slash pimp my dot sh again and just select the letter here, whatever you want to do. Suppose if you wanted to install MITM6, then you would just type I here and it would start installing for you. I will not do that for now. So this is how you install and use pimp my Kali on Kali Linux. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.